Welcome to the 14th episode of Plug in India show. I'm Amit and I'm Rafi. As you already know that this and all the episodes of Plug in India show have brought to you by our amazing Patreon and YouTube members and by supporting us you just make sure that we give you content and EV industry analysis which is absolutely neutral. That's right. And by when you support us, we give you access to our Discord server where you can directly interact with Plug in India team members. And yes, please take full advantage of that. So Rafi, the Tesla battery day recently happened and it was Yes, the- it was one of the biggest events, uh, actually the biggest event for the entire EV community. Yes. Tesla and all of other Elon Musk companies are really uh, forerunners. They they push the limits of innovation and technology. And we really wanted to know what's in their minds, what is it that they want to launch, what do they want to do with electric vehicles. Starting with our first news in the Indian EV news section, Rafi, did you watch the uh, Tesla battery day event? Oh yes, Amit, I did. And what are your initial thoughts about it? Uh, I have been following Tesla since their inception. And this event has totally le- left me thrilled. Okay. And it was refreshing. Awesome. And I think that these guys are really not afraid to do something new, okay. to take a risk. Yeah. And they are basing those risks on hard science. And they are actually making new ways to make things. Yep. So I mean, a quick example that I'd like to give you here is what they have done with their autopilot software. Okay. They have totally redesigned it. Right. Instead of using still images, they are using live video tagging. And that has totally changed the way it performs. Okay. So they were unafraid to completely change a product. And that is exactly the kind of thing that they have done with battery and lithium ion cells. This is the kind of change, Amit, that I feel is giving them the edge. And this company is the one which is truly leading us to a more sustainable future. Yep. So Rafa, I totally agree with you about Tesla's relentless innovation. And that's what keeps them ahead of their competitors. So uh, do you have anything uh, else that caught your attention in this whole uh, event? Yes, Amit, a lot of things. I mean, where do I even start? Okay. If you are a geek or a techie, this event was totally for you. Yeah, I also think so. (laughs) (laughs) That's right. And uh, the first thing that caught my attention, Amit, was this graph that they showed. This is a graph that shows the cost per kilowatt hour of manufacturing lithium ion cells. You can see that the cost has been coming down over the years. And way back in 2010, uh, this was assured. You could see that the cell prices are falling downwards but as you get closer to 2020 the graph starts plateauing and that is the problem and amit if tesla wanted to do something about this if they wanted to keep the curve falling down they could do one of two things one they could build hundreds of gigafactories that would give them economies of scale and the cost of sales would go down okay the other thing is they would have to innovate they would have to find new materials new uh, techniques uh, new manufacturing methods The amazing thing is they've chosen to do the latter, they've chosen to innovate. And the areas of innovation will happen in the way they manufacture the lithium cells and that will reduce the cost of the battery. The first one that they're focusing on is cell design, the actual form factor of the battery. And this is something interesting because they're actually going to reduce the amount of distance the electrons travel. Okay. Uh, The second one is uh, battery factory, the manufacturing process itself, innovations in that. They are going to make machines which make machines. Okay. The next thing is anode materials. They are going to start using silicon instead of graphite. Okay. So that's a very interesting thing because silicon has had problems before and they've managed to somehow sort fix it them. Out. Yeah, yeah, sort it out. Internal battery cathode materials are being changed and they are going to remove uh, cobalt and start adding nickel and iron instead. Okay. So that's a major innovation. And finally, uh, the battery pack design itself is going to be revamped. And uh, with all of this, Tesla is well on its way to a 56% cost reduction. So Rafa, all this means a battery pack today costing $1.50 per kilowatt hour would maybe cost around $65 per kilowatt hour in say three years from now. And let's assume that Tesla launches a hatchback with a 50 kilowatt hour battery pack. The cost of the battery maybe would be around $3,250. So in that case, can we expect a Tesla hatchback by 2025 in India costing say about 12 to 15 lakhs? Amit, I think that's entirely possible. It's provided Tesla is able to set up operations in India and have the manufacturing happen here as well. So Rafi, can you elaborate more on these innovations? 
certainly amit uh, the new tesla 4680 cells have six times the power of the previous cells okay and they have five times the energy capacity wow so so however they haven't showcased specific numbers they've just given us these comparisons and percentages All right. to give us an idea of how much better they've made the technology okay great the most interesting thing amit was this cathode chart that they have shown us okay and uh, this chart shows us how nickel has the highest specific energy compared to cobalt and iron but it is less stable so with the iron phosphate that we have in our existing e2os mm -hmm. and the scooters that we use yep. has lower specific energy density as compared okay. to cobalt or nickel okay. but it performs way better in hot climates also the nickel and the has the highest energy density but increasing nickel and eliminating cobalt will be your goal for tesla nickel is not as stable as cobalt and tesla has been able to create a stable nickel cathode so elon musk has said that they are going to be using novel coatings to stabilize the nickel in the battery pack but he didn't tell us the specifics about how long it will take for them to actually do this mm -hmm. and uh, what the numbers are so what is assuring is that tesla is actually open to using these iron based cathodes okay for uh, cars which have shorter ranges hmm. so that 15 lakh rupee tesla hatchback that you were talking about yeah that could actually be available in india with these improved lfp cells wow So Rafael Elon Musk did mention that there is a whole lot of lithium in the whole world. Yes, Amit, and that part was absolutely mind blowing. Uh, what he said was they have purchased ten thousand acres of land in Nevada where there is lithium clay deposit. Right. And the way to extract this is they are going to add salt and water. Okay. And mix it with the clay. Okay. And the water will come out with the lithium. No, and the salt will come out with the lithium. Yeah, the salt will come out with the lithium. Yeah. And they'll put the clay back into the earth. Awesome. and he is saying there's so much lithium deposit in this patch of land alone okay. that if they were to convert all 300 million cars in the US to EVs right they would be able to supply enough batteries for all these cars wow so instantly they can convert the entire US car fleet to lithium, to uh, EVs EV. and uh, the second thing is that uh, this ore once it's out and in the battery packs yeah. can be recycled yes so once this is out and working they will be absolutely very little mining of new ore required okay. to keep the evs going yeah so mind blown <laughs> however rafi you know with no actual cell to show or any performance metrics yeah. by tesla uh, i think all this is full of promises by tesla and the tesla team actually has to deliver now that's right amit the onus is on them yes. however looking at their track record so far whatever they've promised they've been able to deliver sure albeit very late I mean they have had extended and extenuating extensions to their timelines but right. the people have kept the faith in them the shareholders the people who have booked their products in advance yep. and eventually they have delivered so i think it's a safe bet with tesla yes they will get there so guys tell us what you think about the tesla battery day event what are your comments have you watched the event already if you haven't go to the tesla channel and watch the event We are going to come up with a lot more detailed content on EV Guru. Yes. Uh, we'll be talking to an ex Tesla battery engineer who will okay. be giving us the in-depth details about the various technologies and improvements that Tesla has made. So stay tuned for that, guys. So Rafi, we're moving on to the second news item, and we're going to stay with batteries today. We are talking about an Indian startup called Gigadyne, based out of Mumbai. The startup uses non-lithium-based batteries, which can actually give you a higher cycle life. and it uh, you know it can charge in 15 minutes from 0 to 100 zubin wergis the co-founder says we use carbon and its derivatives as our active materials since carbon is highly conductive and we are also able to charge these batteries from 0 to 100% under 15 minutes with the same efficiency as that of any other conventional battery thereby giving customers the convenience of charging their ev just like refueling any petrol vehicle that is great to hear amit a battery startup which is actually doing non lithium based batteries in india is fantastic for our country because Completely. we don't need to source the lithium, lithium. from other yeah. countries yeah. carbon we can get from india itself yeah apparently the energy density of these batteries is between 150 watt hours to 200 watt hours wow. which is comparable to the lfp batteries that we have or a little bit better actually okay also the number of charge cycles that they give you 2000 charge cycles for this uh, carbon battery is more than the lfp batteries that we have right now on the market wow i mean i'm getting very excited about this yeah. new battery technologies coming into exactly in r&d form in india yeah. itself it's fantastic to hear 
So apparently the company will be testing these battery packs with some channel partners and OEMs and they will be manufacturing these in Amchi Maharashtra. But uh, you know Rafi, we did email them and we haven't got a response from them yet. So we really don't know what the status of the battery development is as of today during this pandemic. Amit, our minds have already been blown with the Tesla battery day announcements and now this an Indian company Rather developing <laughs> non-lithium batteries yeah. in Mumbai itself. We would love to go visit them, talk to them and they're situated very close to us. So I think it's a do. So Rafi, we're going to move on to our third news item and this time we are talking about Delhi based one electric motorcycle and they have finished their registrations and certifications and approvals and will be actually starting delivery of the electric motorcycles. So pre-booking registrations are now open for Delhi NCR, Bengaluru, Chennai and Hyderabad. And once again, Mumbai has been missed out. I don't know why people don't want to come to Mumbai. Exactly. You know, is there something wrong with our city or with <laughs> the people? I think if they test it in Mumbai, they can actually get the right feedback for across India. So yes, Amit, I think Mumbai has a fantastic uh, array of different weather conditions. You've yes. got heat, you've got humidity in the monsoons. Yeah. You've got different people from all around India coming and working and staying here. So you'll be able to test out all sorts of parameters about your particular product and if it succeeds here, as you said, it will yep. succeed all over India. So one electric, please consider Mumbai and come to Mumbai soon. The specs looks good and it's 95 kilometers per hour with 165 Newton meter torque and a 100 kilometer range. With high performance, we also wanted to make a motorcycle that lasts for many years. Suspension from Munjal Showa, wide tires from Seat, lighting from FIEM Industries an in-house developed heavy-duty chassis ensures this along with making spares easily available. This was informed by Gaurav Opal, CEO of One Electric Motorcycle. So Rafi, you are a motorcycle rider and what do you think about this One Electric? Yes, Amit, I have ridden a lot of two-wheelers uh, from the Bajaj Chetak to my cousin's Yamaha RX 100 when I was a child and now I have a Royal Enfield Bullet uh, which I haven't used for some years now because I moved on to electrics. Yes. But uh, I think uh, it's a good package. Uh, the batteries seem to be well sealed mm. and the center of gravity has been taken care of. They've yep. got a powerful uh, hub motor and uh, the electronics and everything looks good. So yeah. I think it's a good package. It looks good at least from the picture that I've seen. Yes. And uh, I would have personally preferred to have a mid drive with possible gearing to give me more control. But that's a very less popular option. I think uh, by making it a hub motor, they've uh, really brought down the costs while oh, giving nice. them good performance. Yep. So uh, yeah, I think the 5.5 kilowatt motor uh, is much larger than most other two wheelers we've seen. And the fact that they've given different wheel sizes, a bigger front wheel and a smaller rear wheel, which will give more power. So it's geared to power. Okay, nice. So as you so, said, it gives you that retro feel, right? Yes. It, it reminded you of the exactly, RX 100. Exactly. Yeah. Also, Amit, let's look at the localization chart. And uh, what these guys have done is they have tried to localize as much as possible. The chassis, the Indian, uh, the switches, the uh, instrumentation panels, the suspension itself, the tires, and the battery pack is also assembled in India. Wow. Although I'm sure the cells are bought from somewhere else, but still it seems 80% localization is not bad at all. Yeah, so it is Indian one electric. Yes, so, and, and, and it will help them to ensure that they give better service to customers yes. and uh, the better quality of product while bringing the cost down. So good luck Team One Electric Motorcycle and we hope to test ride you very soon and don't forget Mumbai. <laughs>